Well, we're in the San Fernando Valley yes, and we're heading over to a car dealership. And when I told Tom that we were heading over to the car dealership, he replied with one letter response, text messaging, you know. Oh. The letter was Y. Why? Why? why. Just a why. Yeah. Well, the why is because Galpa Motorsports is at the Galpa Ford in Van Nuys and Galpin Autosports, or gas as they call it, ah, is amazing. It is. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. Right. They have a collection of automobiles which is amazing. And if you happen to be an aficionado of the Rat Fink, uh, as, uh, as, we are. as we are, then it's almost like a journey to Mecca because the finest collection of Ed Roth cars Right. And Brad Finks right. is right there at uh, yep. Galpin Auto Sports at Gas. So let's check that out because it's a gas. It's a gas. It's a gas. It's a gas. Galpin Auto Sports is in Van Nuys out there in the valley. And well, it's just a plain cool Ford dealership. I mean, Fords are kind of cool in their own right, but. Galpin manages to attract the coolest of the cool Fords, that's for darn sure. They've been selling them here for, you know, decades, and they've been building and modifying and customizing cars here as well. And they just have this reputation, so everybody with a cool Ford just tends to come here for repairs and stuff. But what brings us here is Galpin's incredibly cool car collection. They've got Cobras and Mustangs, and they even manufactured their own supercar right here. Million dollar plus supercar. And look at the Shelbys they have. They got a ton of just incredibly righteous Shelbys. Now I have to admit that I have a kind of personal like for Shelby's, you could say. They're just so darn cool and these guys have one of just about every single year that the Shelby was made. Which really wasn't that many years back in the 60s from 65 through 72. They have a bunch of the modern Mustangs too, modern Shelbys and other interesting Mustangs. It's a really cool collection. They also have these little miniature Japanese and European sub-miniature cars. Those are really, really cool. These little miniature cars have become quite the collectible item. Lots of people are getting into collecting these itty bitty little sub miniature cars. They also have some really righteous antique iron here. Basically stock or almost stock antiques. But what they're mostly known for are their hot rods. Look at these incredible hot rods built by some of the great builders of the 60s including George Barris and the crazy man Von Dutch and the incomparably bizarre Ed Big Daddy Roth. Fiberglass hot rods were a new thing back in the 60s and a lot of different builders were getting into creating some really wild and wonderful hot rods back then. And kids were buying plastic models of these cars and building them. It was a, a phenomenon, a craze, a fad. It was the coolest thing going on and every kid in America was involved in it. Now the grand guru of hot rod building back then was Ed Big Daddy Roth with his whimsical and bizarre cars. He also created this guy, Rat Fink, his sidekick, if you will. I think Rat Fink became more popular than even his cars. And he integrated Rat Fink into some of his motorcycles and other creations. These are all trikes. He built a lot of different trikes. The yellow one here is called the Globe Trotter, and he drove it all the way from Alaska to the tip of South America. 
This thing is called the Rotar. It was actually a hovercraft. You fired it up and these giant fans blew air down through it and it could actually lift the thing up into the air by a few inches and it would hover there. Now this is the Mysterion, possibly his most famous build. This is not the original Mysterion. Galpin built this one. The original Mysterion was scrapped out for sick reasons back in the 1980s. Incidentally, another Mysterion's being built in Bakersfield right now. And yeah, we're going to be taking a trip out there to check that sucker out. It's got twin engines, Ford 406s in it. How cool is that? Ed built this thing just for show. It wasn't really drivable. The Bakersfield car is going to be drivable. This is the Tweety Pie, one of Ed's tea bucket modifications. It's pretty darn cool. At first, it just looks like a kind of garden variety tea bucket hot rod. But when you dive right into it, you find that it's got some really cool and weird proportions going on. And it's all fiberglass, just like his other cars. This is the Orbitron. Now this thing vanished back in the 80s, and it turned up being used as a dumpster in an adult bookstore in Mexico. Anyway, Gallopin got a hold of it, and here it is, all restored back to its original beauty. Now, you might be asking yourself, I wonder what Ed Big Daddy drove for a personal driver. Well, here it is. Doesn't look like much, does it? Actually, I love it. Look at this mess. How cool. He used it as a pallet, and he'd mix paints right on the top of the car when he's pinstriping his other cars. Ed even slept in the darn thing. We'd take it to car shows and just camp out in it. So never let it be said that Ed and his sidekick Rat Fink weren't a little bit weird and a whole heck of a lot fun. Uh, we adopted this Rat Fink on our way out the door. Oh my god, look, a crop circle. Holy cow, it's a smiley face. It is, it's a... It's a smiley face. The aliens came and did a smiley face in the grass You know what there. that means. Another Walmart's going up. Praise Jesus. Uh. Right well, there that, on the hill. How, how do Walmarts, do they create the Walmart trolls or do they just attract the well, Walmart? Well, the aliens do smiley faces like that one we're looking at. That is quite the smiley soon, face. That's and pretty soon there's a, a crop circle smiley face. Yeah. Has a sense of humor. Well, uh, <laughs> back, back to the topic at hand, uh, Galpin Autosports gas. Yeah. Gas was a gas. Yeah, well, so yeah, that is really, really fun. And you know, one of my favorite cars there, as odd as this seems, is just Ed's personal ride. Oh yes. Because it's just so historic. It's yes. just you know, it, it's all screwed up and mushed up and gooed uh, up and right. paints all falling off of it. And he right. did graphics on top of graphics on top it was of his graphics. Work car. But it was his work car, and it's all got paint daubs because he used it as a palette for painting stuff and exactly. that's just cool it's as hell cool. And, yeah. and he used you know rat fink t-shirts as seat covers because right. that's what he had right everybody that, should have a car like that I mean, and that was ed yeah you know he was pretty pragmatic low-key kind of guy right. whatever he could do to just get by getting by that's what he did even though he had millions of dollars socked yeah. away in various bank accounts, right. except that he had a nasty habit of just giving his money to people and stuff. But well, anyway, uh, we we digress. Um, if you haven't been over to the website toymantelevision.com, you should do that. Right. You should also subscribe to the channel Toyman Television here on YouTube. There's the link down in here off the screen if you're on on youtube the little rocket ship logo click on that takes you to the channel you can watch 70 or so just amazing 
cool, fun videos, and you can also subscribe to the channel, which is the most that. important thing that you do while you're right. over there. Or you can just click on that blue button right there. And that's easy. Bingo! You have subscribed. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. Nope. And we will see you here again in one week with some more massive, massive screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.